In this lesson, we are going to discuss about fork or forking. Now, GitHub repositories can be cloned to a new Git repository hosted at GitHub. So, this process is called fork or forking. If you have a look at the diagram on the right hand side, as you can see on the top, we have the github.com on cloud. There we have a central repository or it could be termed as upstream repository. The fork process creates the fork repository, your repository on the cloud itself. So forking a repository means creating a personal copy of someone else's repository actually. Forks act as sort of bridge between the original repository which can be called as upstream repository and the forked personal copy. This process does not have any effect on the original or upstream repository copy. Why use fork or when to use fork? Use someone else's project as a starting point for your own idea or propose changes to someone else's project. For example, you can use forks to propose changes related to fixing a bug. So if there is a project and you see there is some issues, you can log an issue but rather than logging an issue for a bug you have found, you can do the following. You can fork the repository. Now once you fork the repository, you can make the code changes in your own fork repository for the fix. Then you can send the changes to the original repository by submitting a pull request to the upstream repository owner. So on the right hand side, if you see the diagram, we have the central or upstream repository. When we fork, our repository is created. Then we can clone it to our local system, local computer and do the code changes over there. Once the code changes are done, we can push it back and finally we can submit a pull request to the owner of the upstream repository. Then if the upstream repository owner accepts that the code changes can be done or the upstream repository can reject that. So this is the overall flow. Now we are going to execute fork related all the steps that we have discussed so far. Now currently I am at a repository sample git project and this is my user id j2expert2015. So this is one project which I have already created but I need to simulate the scenario where some user who does not have access to this project should be trying to fork this project. For that let me log out from my github account. Just click sign out. Let me click on sign in. I have created another user to simulate the scenario git dummy user 2020 and let me sign in. So the other user dummy user has come to the project sample git project and he clicks on fork click fork so the project is getting forked at this point of time now once the fork is done you can see the user id git dummy user 2020 slash the repository name now this is a fork repository so against this repository the user has to walk and then once the changes are done then the user has to submit the pull request. So let me click the project URL. Now we are going to import the project in Eclipse. Click on file, import, type git, select projects from git, next, clone URI, next. Here I need to enter my authentication details, click next, next again, click next again, keep the option as it is, next, finish. Now the project is downloaded and let us make some code changes. Just let me modify this two string method. delete this company and control s let me try to commit the code right click team commit here one thing we have to notice that the author name and the committer is my user id but i need to change that to the dummy user id let me change that let me try commit and push okay i need to enter a commit message 
click commit and push again enter the credentials click ok now the push is done click ok again so let me go to the browser to view the state so this is the fork project for git dummy user just let me refresh and i can see that there is already one commit done let me click over here okay i don't need to click it's already saying commit by dummy user the commit i mentioned just a few seconds back now what i need to do is perform a pull request by pull request i would be submitting a request to the owner of this upstream repository of this fork repository so clicking on pull request and here you can see this is the screen where it is showing the base repository or the upstream repository and this is the repository where the dummy user has made the changes it is already showing able to merge because in case there is any conflict it will show you that if there is any conflict or not so if i click create pull request then it's showing a form where the commit message is there we can enter some dummy message over here maybe specific to a particular issue or something so fix for issue xyz and then create a pull request now you can see over here the pull request is done so what will happen the user j2v expert who is actually owner of the repository he would get an email and a notification and then he can accept this pull request or reject this pull request let let us check that as well so i am signing out from here and signing in as j2e expert 2015 that is my user id which is the actual owner of the original repository if i go over here so under pull request you can see there is one pull request already available let me open that okay so commit by dummy user click on that now here the user can view the pull request and it's showing that branch has no conflict now he can merge the pull request over here there some message could be entered click on confirm merge now if i go to the project location again there is no such pull request so what we have done we have forked a project we have made the changes now we have submitted the pull request the pull request is also accepted so the changes are merged to the original repository let me have a look into the repository whether the changes have come or not okay we don't need to look into the repository because the last commit message we can see commit by dummy user it is already there anyways if i click you can see the changes that is done right this company word is removed here in this file company.java so the change has come over here now as everything is done what we need to do we need to delete the fork repository right so let me go back to the old user log out from j2e expert 2015 which is my user id now i want to sign in as the dummy user click sign in so here if i go to the repositories what we can see this is my repository which is forked from j2e expert 2015 sample git project so open this and you can go to settings scroll down here under danger zone you can select delete this repository let me click that it is asking me to type this particular word the username slash the repository name to confirm well let me copy paste click on i understand the consequences now this is done so overall what we have done we have understood what is fork why it is used how this is done conceptually then practically 
what we have done we have forked one repository in github and then we made the changes in the forked repository we submitted a pull request the pull request was accepted and when the job was done we deleted the forked repository